everybody. This is Jake from Longtail Pro. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip uh, for those that are using Weebly. Maybe you're just getting started uh, with the new drag and drop editor. Um, first of all, I've used Weebly for a number of years uh, for some of my personal sites. Really like it. Uh, I often recommend it to people that are just getting started that have a business or, or whatever the case may be who have never built a website before because in general it's very easy to use. You can get a really nice looking site online in a short amount of time. Um, I do use WordPress as well and I've used a number of different editors so today I just want to show you how you can take the initial design of Weebly, make it your own, um, and then at the end I'm going to have a little bit more for you about how you can go to the next level as far as setting up your SEO settings and kind of starting to get some traffic to your Weebly website. So let's dive right in. First of all, when I'm choosing a, a design, um, and in this case, this is a site I've already started. Um, if you're adding a brand new site, um, you can't miss it because Weebly walks you through the process of picking a theme for your site. Um, so in this case, uh, I'm just kind of hovering over, and as I click on a design, I can preview it or choose it, and then I can also change the color scheme here, which you may have seen. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose this design. It'll load that up for me, um, and I just want to show you how you can edit this background image. So a lot of the, the new modern designs are very dependent on a really nice looking background image, especially for your homepage. Um, and you may like everything about this design, except you don't want the girl in the background blowing a kiss at your audience. You know, it might not make sense for what you're doing. So if you click on edit image, they've actually got a pretty good stockpile here of, of many types of images that you know, kind of run the gamut as far as themes are concerned that you may be able to use for your site. So if so, you can just click on those and click select, or you can upload your own image. You just want to make sure that it's large enough that it's going to be high quality enough to, to look good in the space, because obviously it's, it's huge on the page. So let's say that uh, I'm doing a business site. I click this image here, hit select. Wanted to show you a couple of things you can do real quick, um, just to make it look a little different. So if I want to add a little bit of blur to this image, I just click on blur and just drag that, that bar up a little bit and it'll go 10% at a time. And you can see I added a little bit of blur to that image. And then if I wanted to darken it a little bit, kind of the same thing. You can kind of tweak it, go up to 30%. Maybe I want to try a little bit more, 50%. Uh, it's too dark, you know, and I can bring it back down. So you can just drag that up. So you can see that I've taken one of Weebly's images that was there, and now I've added a little bit of customization to that, and I've sort of made it an image that, that fits my site. Um, so that's how you can take an image that's not yours and sort of put your touch on it. They've also got some filters you can use here. So you can play around with all these things, and once you have it the way you like it, click on Save, and then you can click Save to All Pages, and now you've got an image that you, know, that you like and that looks really good for your site. Um, so that's getting started. Um, when you're ready to uh, kind of do some of your SEO settings and things like that, we do have a free PDF download for you. As I said, you know, I've used Weebly for a number of years. Um, I've got a site on there that does particularly well. Um, and so I show some behind the scenes of how I set up the SEO settings, some of the advanced settings and things like that that you'll want to know when it comes to getting some traffic from Google and the different search engines. So click on the link uh, in the corner of the video. And like I said, it's a free PDF download. Check that out. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks and have a great day.